How dare you? Baby dolls, how dare you? How dare you? Come into my palace. How dare you come into my palace of fluffy slippers and friendship and kindness and you bring to me a disgusting habit of toilet paper hand trading. This is something you're going to learn from for the rest of your life. I have been waiting for an example like this because you have to see it with your two little beady eyes and your fluffy ears and your cute little tail. All right? We have a toilet paper hand alert. You better pray that you don't go through this because we're going to find you. Okay? Wallet AF38. The 38 is for 3.8 centimeters. You're going to see why. Look at this. Three cardinal sins of poopery have been committed. One toilet paper hand sold their hex and they traded. Okay. Number two used MetaMask swap. Friends, you know MetaMask is. They should go in jail. Do you know how much they charge you? You char Every time you buy, it's 0.75%. And then when you sell, it's 0.75%. Extra for no reason, just an extra fee. A buy-sell is 1.5%. So if you think you're taking like even $100,000 of profit, you are paying them $1,500 for a buy-sell. For no reason. Absolutely no reason. You're just giving it to them. Disgusting. People who use MetaMask Swap are poopy heads. Go straight to uniswap.org or one inch. One inch routes through everything. It aggregates them. There is no reason for you to be giving money away. Precious money. And of course, 3.8 centimeters... This is the most disgusting of all. The slippers he was wearing, they, they bring a tear to my eye. They are crumbling so hard, I, you can't use the word slippers anymore. This is an abomination, a disgrace. So 3.8 centimeters has a total loss of 800,000 hex from one trade, and it's going to get worse. So you better straighten your back right now because it's going to get a whole lot worse when you see the damage he's done to himself. The total loss today's price from this one trade is 64,000 US. Just this one trade. Sold hex, rebought higher. Okay? You're going to see this. I have the information here. We're going to go through another page. We're going to see it. So I write this out on my Twitter so you can see Big shout out to Mr. Hextronaut, an astronaut who also owns Hex. You will see on-chain data. I just put these screenshots so you can see that they're real people. You don't really need to go through everything. I summarize everything here nice and neat for you. Okay. So one, he's a noob. Two, he sold 4.6 million Hex. He FOMO buys back in 3.7 million. So he's taken a big loss. Okay. Big loss. So, and they're missing out on staking. Right now you're earning, for short term, like you're an absolute paper hand, you're earning 9% yield. You Like you can do it for seven days, 14 days, 30 days. There's absolutely no reason to be doing this. You're missing out over time. But we can only explain so much. You wanna bring this disgusting, disgusting abomination in front of me, don't you dare. Is it, this, I can't even look at this anymore. We're changing. Okay, so another post. 3.8 centimeters is so naughty that... Oh, they, they, get ready for this, okay? He actually... He started with 7 million hex. So he is a, such a naughty toilet paper hand. That was just one trade I showed you. That's 64,000. It's going to get worse. So, of course... We already know what his fatal mistake was, right? He was wearing these crumbled slippers and he was trading. And we're going to read through here now. His total loss was 3.3 million hex. 
over a series of trades. That is today's price, 264,000 US. This is just a few months, okay? And at the all-time high, 3.8 centimeters, he is now missing 1.15 million. And that's not without, that's not with staking, man. If it takes two years to get there, he's gonna miss out on 18%. So you should do 1.15 million times, let's do like 18%, yeah. It's 1.35 million. That's how much he's actually lost. That's like best case for him, you know, if he did short-term staking. And he missed out on the P-Hex now. So he's now lost 3.3 million P-Hex. Disgusting. All right, look at this. There's a beautiful chart. I made this I made this quick table for you, right, just to verify, but you can see there's actually a chart here we'll go to. There's this cute website called Rugsy, and you can just put in anyone's address and go to a coin, and it will show you, it said Rugsy is in my comment, my reply here, down here. You can put in anyone's address, you can change it in the URL, or you can enter it in, and you can see buys and sells. So you can see buys and sells up and down, up and down. So wallet 3.8 centimeters had like 7 million. And look, look when this genius decided, ah, I'm gonna start trading. I'm gonna start trading. It was literally the low. <laughs> By the way, he was trading before this, but the volume was nowhere near this. Like this is like, whoa, here we go, baby. <laughs> of all times in the past two years, see, see I have, I've made videos about this, friends. Of all times in the past two years, traders think, wait, the market's been going down forever and everyone who's making money is a bear, a hairy, poopy-faced bear with claws who poops in the woods and doesn't wipe. They're all the people making money. So I should start trading. You know when people say trading? You know what they actually mean most of the time? By the way, I'm a day trader. I'm a day trader since 2011. It's been 12 years, okay? I am a day trader. I love scalping and trading, but I'm just letting you know now. When people actually talk about trading, 99% of the time, what they actually mean is they want to short. <laughs> they actually want to bet on it going down. That's what they actually mostly refer to. It's because most of these retailers and everyone, all these normies that we've seen, they've seen a market come down for a year. They've come down for 14 to 15 months. They see blood, destruction everywhere. They see so many crumbled slippers everywhere they go. So they say, aha, I have now been confirmed from what I see that the right thing to do is to be a toilet paper hand trader. And they all go on this journey and then 98% get absolutely destroyed. And of the 2% winners, very little actually make it through. And if they do make it through, they're on a hot streak from between one to five years. And then eventually that goes away. And you might say, oh, but you have all this money. No, no, it doesn't work like that. You don't know that your streak has stopped in year five. You keep trading in year three, four, five. You don't know. You might have one year where you go really bad and you go, oh, I'll make it back next year. And then they waste another year and another year and another year. You do not find people. It's very, very rare for people to do what I did where I'm like, oh my God, crypto actually goes up so much, it vastly outperforms anyone anyone's day trading. And if they do, they had some unique edge for one or two years and it disappears. But they, you know, they haven't realized it yet. That's what I've seen, friends. Remember, in my videos, I talk about low-hanging fruit. Yes, low-hanging fruit. Let's change this here. So I'm gonna draw a little cherry fruit. Friends, low-hanging fruit, everybody thinks that they're geniuses. But what they don't know is they have just been eating fruit that is hanging low, like yum, 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 yum. See that? You see this person is just trying to trying to eat this low-hanging cherry. People think they're geniuses. They think, oh man, I just gotta, I, I'm buying low and I'm selling high and I found this edge and I've got an MEV bot. Everybody's got their own unique little way of doing it. But what they don't know is their edge is so razor thin and it's on a, it's, a, it's got a shelf life. It's, it's literally like a cherry at the supermarket. It will rot eventually, but they don't know that yet. They think that everybody thinks they're geniuses. That's why buying and holding, you get the power of compounding effects of the money supply being printed in year seven, eight, nine, ten, and human geniusness coming into crypto and pushing the industry forward, and money siphoning into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all our beautiful bags.
That is where the, 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 your slippers are fluffy in that world. But if you're in this crumbled slipper zone, you don't know, man. These, everyone thinks they're wearing fluffy slippers here. They're not. They are wearing abominations. They're wearing planks on their feet. So this, this trader, okay, look when he started. He started literally at the low. Like, I'm so glad. I couldn't believe I found this. This is exactly what I've been making all my videos telling you. I've been telling you guys and girls and pet duck named Greg. I've been telling you all. I'll go, people don't start trading and do the right thing when like the volume is high. What they do is they're long at the tops and then after it goes down forever, they go, oh man, I'm gonna start trading, which is what this person is. I buy and I sell this and that. Look, had seven million hex down to 3.3, down to 3.7 million. So he's lost a loss of 3.3 million total and he's gonna lose on staking. And you can see these, look at this, this is interesting, right? As, as the market went up, he got more nervous. You can see, look at this. That's why I put these big increasing in size toilet paper emojis. Look at the look at the bubbles here. The bubbles were smaller. You see? Little bubble. Then the bubbles get bigger, bigger. And look at this, a big frequency of bubbles. That is the volume. So it's just a visual description to show you wallet, three point eight centimeters. He, he, you get more nervous because he knows he's in a loss. So he takes bigger and bigger swings and he gets more active. You see how he's just rinsing himself more and more? So down here, he's calm because he just started. He's like, ah, I'm Zen. I'm one with the slippers. No, you're not. You're not wearing slippers. Don't even call them slippers. They are crumbled abominations. And look what happens. Unfortunately, look, Hex starts moving and like, oh, 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 oh. And look here, we just have, you're down, you're down. You're literally down. You're missing, you're going, to, you're missing 1.35 million in exactly two years from now. But they don't know that, right? So uh, look, at least, look, at least he's FOMO'd back. So he's bought back in, he's got 3.7 million hex. But you, you know, we all know, he's not going to be saying, oh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I survived with 3.7 million hex. They're not going to be saying that at all. Mr. Wallet, 3.8 centimeters, is going to be saying, I am missing 3.3 million hex. I have to trade myself to get it back. That, and he, who knows if he damages himself more? I hope he doesn't. I hope Mr. 3.8 centimeters is listening to me right now. Please, put your pants on and wear a cup and a sock and put like a remote controller down there or something as well. You are you're doing yourself so much damage, okay? You you have more money than you think. If you if hex goes to let's say e hex and p hex both just go to a dollar, you're still sitting on seven point four million. And let's say they only go both to fifty cents, well then you're sitting on three point seven million dollars. But look, these people they don't make the right decision. It the emotion, the greed, the greed. So. Why, why is this even more of an issue? This is more of an issue, friends, because before I read this tweet, just please get on my level here. You gotta understand, all right? By the way, yes, my chair, my chair is so squeaky right now. So you gotta know that the low-hanging fruit that we see in crypto, okay, we're not geniuses, okay? You might think you are, but you're not a genius. It's that crypto's fruit is so low hanging compared to the rest of the world. Like theirs are like tight. Theirs is up in the tree up here, okay? Yes, theirs up in the tree and we have a tree just comes a branch down here for us, right? It's, yes, it's a cherry tree. So <laughs> so this cherry tree, <laughs> you you are here nibbling. You, This is you, you're nibbling on this low hanging fruit. And what you don't know is eventually all these people are eating away with it. You are uh, eating away at the, the cherry with you and it's going to be gone and then we're going to have to be jumping with our hands up up here like help me help me i'm looking for a 2x i'm looking for a 2x help this is us with our hands waving in the air all right trying to grab the tree that that's traditional finance that's stocks that's commodities that's bonds that's all these other asset classes we are in the land of low-hanging fruit right now and what that means is what that translates to you is even 10x's they are not normal, okay? So yes, we can have 50 and 100 Xs in crypto, but even 10 Xs are out of this world. Don't think it's going to be a linear drop down between now and 2030. So here we are, 2023, and then we're gonna go to 2030, all right? What people think is, this is the returns, right? Now I wanna change this for green. 
people think it's going to go like, oh, okay, there's a 100x this year, and then in two years, it's like a 70x, and then in two years, it's like a 30x, and then in two years after that, it's another 10x. That's what they think. They think that the gains are going down like this. It does not happen like that, friends, at all. Not even remotely like that. That's what your expectation is. This, all right, this dotted line. This is what it really is like, okay? You see that? That farty poopy noise? Yes. You got your thousand X's if you're buying crypto when everybody thought it was legit for terrorists and child abusers and all this other evil stuff. That's what they thought Bitcoin and crypto was for. And then it just becomes, oh, here, enjoy your 2X. Yes. I'm serious. That's how fast this thing is going to go away. So when you trade, you are double hurting yourself. That's why this is so important. Not only are you just trading because you suck, all right, but you're missing out on once in a lifetime generation chance where the game is not complete yet. The puzzles, the puzzle pieces have not fallen into place yet. Okay? It's not like we have a 400 million user based Facebook yet. It's not made in crypto. There is still so much opportunity and people rushing in. Okay? So that's why you are hurting yourself if you trade. You're ruining it. You're not going to get another, oh, I'll just make a 30x in like five years if things don't work out. No. It doesn't work like that. Okay? See, in the stock market, if you screw it up, you're just missing out on 7% per year on average, which is, by the way, still a lot. It's a double over 10 years, but it's nowhere near missing out on, wow, I missed out on 600%. Because that's literally it. From hex, from two cents, maybe it finishes the year, maybe it goes to 10 cents, you've missed out on your 5x, okay? And then you're gonna have to foam it back in, it just becomes so much disaster. So, look at this. I do see a world in the future where hex has grown to 1.5 million stakers. That's 10x the number of users, 100x the price. If you don't agree with that price, I don't care. Metcalf's law, whatever. Use any price you want, I'm just letting you know. Whatever you think happens when we increase the user base by a 10x, right, a 1,000%, whatever price you think that is, that's what you're missing out on. Because you know it's gonna be at least a 10x, okay? That's already, un that's already God levels in, in compared to Boomer World Finance. And I also, I see a world where Pulse Chain and PulseX has over 1 million users. So the Richard Hart ecosystem, I see this the community staying sticky and growing. So that's why you should have more size than you think. All right? And of course, most importantly, I do see a world where everybody wears fluffy slippers. Now, Pulse Chain, you could, Hex, you could use different numbers for these, right? But look, there's 150,000 stakers looking to Hex.com. And the total hold is 536,000. I think a lot of them are absolute tiny addresses. I think the real number is more like 300 to 330,000. Maybe the real number. A lot of them are like tiny, tiny, tiny. But I, I like using the stakers because there's actually people using the system. I like that. Okay, but you can use any number you want. It doesn't really matter. Me and you, we can't control what that future number is going to be anyway. So whether you say, oh, I'm going to use 100, 100K or 200K or 10K, it doesn't matter how many people you use. We can't control it. The future's almost set in stone already. Okay. We are just two little fluffs on a fluffy slipper pair. So look, you've seen... You've seen a lot happen, a lot of damage, okay, to one person, okay? And I want you to know that at the end of the day, you have a choice. Do you take it seriously or not take it seriously? Because if this works, you can't come back in time, all right? You can't. I'm here as a messenger to help you for free. I'm not selling a course. I don't have referral links. I don't even give you my donation address. If you want to donate, come DM me and maybe in a week or two when I can go through, I'll send you some one of my anonymous addresses. I don't care. We love each other. Friendship, kindness. And I want you to know, I'm just doing what I'm about to show you. This is my conviction. I can be wrong. Hex can go to zero. It can go to negative numbers. The SEC, the police, Putin comes and nukes us all. He just wants Hex, Hexicans removed off the face of the earth. That can happen. Understand, yes, these are risks. So the model I'm going to show you now, before I explain it, that's just how I think. And I can be wrong, and I'm happy to accept it. All right? So people ask me, for some reason, a lot of people said to me, hey, SHIB's got $6 billion market cap, and you don't like that, but then Hex has a theoretical other you know, a couple of billion, whatever it is. Why do you like that? You're inconsistent. And here, I'm showing you why. So what I'm showing you now, I know it's going to seem so simple, but it's literally the difference 
between people who make it and those who don't. Okay, I'm literally, I'm glad people asked me this, and you're also glad I was in a good mood, smoking some shisha with my friends, that I was like, you know, okay, I'll throw everyone a bone here. So Hex has 150,000 stakers, 100% all verified real people, real accounts. Maybe the number of holders is like 300 to 330,000, okay? And it's all on chain on the decks, all of them. You can actually check, verify, you don't have to guess, okay? Shib, Shib Inu, it's got 1.3 million holders. Look at the bottom, okay? By the way, this is just on, on chain. So just to give you an idea, you know Doge, Doge has 4.4 million holders, okay? Verified on chain. And SHIB, I think, is about half the size of Doge, right? So that's why I'm guessing here, if you fill in the gap, so if we quickly do, so Doge has, so if Doge has 4.4 million, yeah, total, and SHIB has, SHIB has 1.3 million, I'm guessing SHIB has somewhere like 1 million people, across Coinbase, Binance, and all the other exchanges, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. And at the end of the day, even if you wanted to use 1.3 million, which is unrealistic, but even if you said that was the real number, that is still much smaller than the worst case of Hex, which is 300,000. Still way smaller. 4X smaller. That's how big it is. 4X from Metcalf's Law is a 16X price differential. Right, so I just gave you the worst case. That's why I'm saying in the worst case, in my mind, like I'm thinking about how high this dove can fly. Okay, actually we're not a dove, we're really a duck. Okay, so we're, we're a duck, we're a little ducky, we're trying to fly, we're flapping our wings, flippity flappily and quickity quackity, and we're trying to guess, okay, can we fly to the moon or we're kind of just gonna land that park bench over there and then do a little poopy. So I'm feeling SHIB is really heavy compared to Hex. SHIB will still go well. I still think SHIB will go to the moon. I really believe in the community. They're strong. However, how high? How high are you talking now? Do you think SHIB can go 30x from here? <laughs> can you? Like, that's, that's a big number, man. To get 30x, right, you're going to have to do the square root of that. That's a price increase. You got to do the square root of 30 to get that for the increase of the user base. So you've got to do 5.4 times 1.3 million. You've got to get to 7 million people. So you've, you've got to be adding 5.4 million people, right? And, eh, are you going to get that? But look in Hex, man. With Hex, okay, by the way, we're just dealing with the 30x there. Okay, that's nothing. If you can 10x the user base in Hex, so if you, or even if you just add the SHIB holders, 1, 1.5 million to Hex, you get an enormous increase. Okay, so Hex's base is much smaller. It doesn't matter how hard way you cut it. I went through this just to show you, in my mind, I take the worst cases of things and use a fair value. And we can't even, we're not even gonna know the future anyway. It's almost written in stone, really. Whatever timeline we're on, friends. So this is the difference between them. So you, with this information, you can now decide how heavy does your weight wanna be. Okay, I can't make that decision for you. So you might still say, hey, 0% there, 0% there. I don't really care. I'm just showing you how I think about it. And if you understand, if you know anything about any other scum influencers, I haven't talked about price to earnings ratio or any of this other junk that everyone uses for crypto. Okay, this is, we're trying to invent stuff here because there's chaos. We're trying to see, is there a method to the chaos? And this is fundamentally my unit of currency, my conviction. So friends, as a recap, you are never going to wear crumbling slippers. And we're going to learn from Mr. 3.8 centimeters what happens to your account if you decide to trade. You take a long-term view because that's exactly where the friendship is. You tell your mum you love her and I'll catch you next time.